everyone is living the good life and I've been out to the estate sales again. Actually two estate sales and one garage sale and I want to show you what I found. Let's start with the useful stuff. So at the first estate sale it was just so cold. Luckily they don't they were giving out numbers and we don't normally do that where I'm from but it was so cold everyone grabbed their number and went and sat in the car. Um, so here's what I got. 20 let's see it was $32.50 and I got all the Fenton and the useful stuff for that. I don't know. So here is this insect killer. Everything's new, $4, goof off. Uh, they only charged me a dollar for the toilet bowl cleaner. Some more insect killer back there. Uh, everything in the pantry was 50 cents, so I got this vinegar, the olive oil, Thermacare wraps, Splenda, um, Weiler's chicken bouillon, caramel apple dip, the dusters, the scrubbing bubbles, Clorox wipes, uh, an entire brand new package of hefty freezer bags, and some oatmeal. And then I got the Fenton as well. It seems like I'm missing something, but anyways, I got this lovely little Fenton butterfly. And from what I see online, the ones with the wings open are worth more than the wings closed. So this was a decent one. So $6. So that is pretty. Uh, and then this one is a hand-painted Fenton, and I can't make out the name, maybe you can, there it is, W-A something. So it's got, it's got the, um, pink, I, I guess it'd almost be pink crest, it is dirty, I should have washed it before I made the film, but there you go. Uh, and then I've got this pretty bell, and it is signed as well, I'm not quite sure if this is Fenton or not, so that you Fenton experts let me know. K. Anderson with that lovely little butterfly and the flowers. It almost reminds me of that optic pattern, but I know that's not it. And then I got this box and it was marked 10. Comes uh, with the, it's iridescent, as you can tell. Has the little brochure inside and the little dolphin at the top. It's the first time I've noticed that. So that was 16 and then so the other two pieces of Fenton and all the supplies then would be the difference. So what is that? Um, whatever 32 minus 16 is. So it just seems like there was something else. Oh well. That's what I can remember. Then I went to a garage sale and I got this brand new heated throw for $5. And another uh, moving sale where they were cleaning out the garage and they had this waste, ba waste basket trash can. That's what we call them. Trash can liners for $2. And a great big like gallon um, thing of uh, insect killer. You know, that has the pump attached to it. It was brand new. It was $2 as well. The very first place that I went to on this day was a garage sale. I got there 30 minutes early. Um, didn't quite mean to get there quite that early, but she was ready and I was the first person there. And I found a table with all kinds of jewelry on it. And the first thing I picked up was, where'd it go? Here. <laughs> was this angel blowing a trumpet. And I turned it over. I knew how heavy it was. And I saw right here. That is the James Avery mark, and this is a retired piece, and it's uh, for sale for $71 on eBay. Couldn't find any sold listings, but that was neat. Let's see how much that weighs. Go like this so you have something to look at while I'm weighing. There we go. So that one's almost 12 grams just for that one piece. The second piece I picked up was this, this little fish thing. And I thought it was sterling, and it was. It says Mexico 925. And then there were little baggies. So there's this sterling little crescent moon with the stars and the everything dangling from it. There is this pretty little crucif uh, kind of a Celtic one. And it says sterling right there. It almost reminds me of what you'd get in like Ireland or Scotland if you went there. Here's some star sterling earrings and another little crucifix pendant. Here are some 
sterling earrings. I really like those a lot. I'll be wearing those quite a bit. Here's some puffy heart sterling earrings. And there happened to be a another bright cut ring similar to these in a little baggie. There was an entire baggie of rings. I picked that up and go, there's got to be something in here. Then there was this little, I think it's Native American ring with a green piece of green turquoise. A little sterling ring here. I bet you my niece takes some of these. A uh, little peace sign ring. And here is a little black onyx. I'm just going to show you the decoration on it. Right there. Um, a single sterling earring. There was uh, these, this pair, which is sterling with the cubic zirconia. Then I saw this floating around, single by itself. My diamond tester needs a new battery. I could not find anything on the post, but you'll see that it is a gold post, which is an indication usually that it's um, gold, but I don't think so. Uh, well, I'll, I'll give you, let you know. Uh, here's another sterling pair of earrings. I think it's on this one, right down there at the bottom. Another sterling pair. Here's a single. Uh, oh, these are the ones I don't know about. Uh, sterling... Uh, well, I don't know yet. I have to check. A single earring, hoop earrings, and some more stars. So, um, and then in the bag with the rings, there was this one ring. And again, I got to make sure I got it the right way. Yep, I do. Look down here. 14 carat. So a little bitty ring is uh, um, 1.2 grams. But, you know... Gold is, is getting up there, so that's actually worthwhile. So I, if you want to guess, okay, guess what you think I paid for all the jewelry. Oh, I forgot to mention, I got this uh, leather and culture pearl uh, necklace with these little bits here at the end are sterling. And here is a, um, this is a little better quality. These are sterling as well. I think it says it right there. So, okay, all of that, all the jewelry... This was what was not sterling. So the earrings, this little pin, interesting, a pendant, a broken ring, some earrings, more pendants, gold sun. So everything there. Any guesses? I said, how much is this? How much for the jewelry? $5 is good. <laughs> so I got all the jewelry for $5. I hope this is a start of a wonderful spring and summer and fall of uh, finding jewelry at garage sales because it's been a long time since I found any and it was so much fun. Hope to hear from you guys and I'd love to hear from you Fenton experts, especially uh, about this bell. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.